Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects. And it's very I'll be showing you how to get this death map transition. This looks super trippy. And it exactly matches with that opium and flickery style. So without wasting any more time, let's get into After Effects and show you how to do this. So in my timeline, I have this right here. This is what I made for test. But we're going to head over to the clean comp and start it from scratch. So this is a clean comp, as you can see, with no effect. So firstly, what we're going to do is duplicate our first clip and also duplicate our second clip so we have like duplication of both of those and you can name the top uh top duplication to something like death map right here i'm gonna name it death map one and in here i'm gonna name it death map two right here as you can see now in the death map one i'm gonna add the effect called death map it is actually a plugin death scanner too right here if you don't already know this is a plugin that like chris these type of like death map type of effect looks really dope i'm not sponsored by it or anything like that i'm just sharing the sauce with y'all the last video i made on it like a lot of people were saying it is really expensive and no one can afford that much but you don't really gotta buy it bro if you know what i mean but anyways after you apply the death scanner too and here you can see we got it this like death map right Right now really simple death map and now we're gonna do the same thing in here add the death map to bro why i keep messing up the spelling yeah death scanner 2 right here so in both of our duplication we have death scanner applied in there now we're gonna hide both of these death maps for now and go into our original clip and right here we're gonna add an effect called gradient wipe right here what it will do is use a death map to make a like a gradient wipe basically like a uh, basically like a transition i would say so yeah where it says like gradient layer go into this drop down and just select your death map one firstly and in the way it says source right here in another drop down make sure it is on fx and now if i bring up the transition completion it is like cutting off according to the death map basically something like that now you can also bring up the softness and you really see the death map right here so yeah this is what death map does and we can use these type of like death maps to create like really unique type of transition like there are unlimited possibilities with this effect for real but for us what we're gonna do is hit the stopwatch in the transition completion bring up the keyframe at the beginning and as it goes we're gonna lower it down to zero so everything like basically like disappears like that something like that as you can see and put this keyframe at the end we're gonna put this keyframe at the beginning like that and you can see we have a dark transition going on like a cutoff transition and now we're gonna do the same thing all with our second clip add a gradient wipe then for this we actually gonna set our death map to death map 2 and we're gonna set, set it at fx and max as i said and now we can just bring out the value to create that same shit right here so we're gonna bring up the softness but in the first frame we're gonna make the value to 100 to 100 uh, like here yeah 100 and hit the stopwatch and as it goes at the end we're gonna lower it down like completely up it so in the first clip we our first frame was in zero but in my second clip it is on 100 so it will create a dark transition like this this already looks dope like this can be used instead like a hotspot effect but we definitely gonna spice this up but one thing i noticed is our second like fade is like too slow to fix that i'm gonna just like uh easy these keyframes go into the graph go into the value graph and make a and make a graph similar to does so it like goes like smoothly basically not too tight not too slow maybe something like this yeah that looks clean to me now after the graded wipe thing done what we gonna do is make visible our both of our like death map then i'm gonna head over to depth scanner and set the color ramp to something like ocean because i really love this like blue tone that it gives as you can see it looks really hard so we are gonna be using this we can actually play around with this color ramp to get like different type of effect right here these also looks really cool but i'm gonna go with the ocean one because it looks super super cool to me now with this what we're gonna do is bring up the opacity by hitting t and hit the stoppers in the opacity go into the first frame and lower down the value to zero of this then go over to our like first frame and lower down the value to our like zero so it like completely disappeared and now if we play it through you can see we already had this like uh our original footage to a death map type of effect going on 
But now if you like in here, you can mess around with your blending modes. I'm gonna set it to linear DAWs. If you don't know how to bring up the blending modes, just toggle fusion modes right here. And it will be here right here. Just change it to linear DAWs. So it looks even smoother. And now our first death map is done. So we're gonna go over to our second death map and we're gonna set this to ocean as well. Where is it? Ocean right here. And we're gonna do the same thing with the opacity, but this time the first frame will be on 100 and the last frame will be on zero something like that and now if you play it through it looks super super dope as you can see again in here you can change the change the blending mode to something like linear dolls for me i think i'm go over to something like linear light for now because i think that looks a little better yeah that looks super hard yeah i'm definitely going with linear light with this one i guess it looks super super hard now after you have this right here you can add like exposure to tra transition in between like you can add an ex exposure with a camera bl blur like in between you can add like this type of exposure and it will look cool maybe even like not like an x flicker right Right here sapphire flicker and you would already get this like chippy effect but for me what i'm gonna do is pre-comp all of these pre-comp all of these into a single layer and to top it all off i'm gonna add an adjustment layer and use my essential fx real quick so in essential fx v2 i'm gonna use something like a chroma 2 and just literally line up the keyframe right here and you will get this super cool like warp with it i really love it just makes the fx a little smoother like the cut is a lot smoother as you can see and it warps out which i really love plus what you can do is go inside this pre-comp and actually add a object glow in this pre-comp and bring up the glow bring down the amount if you don't know this is also a plugin if you are wondering why i do everything with plugins i don't even know like plugins are goaded literally bro but yeah just animate this glow as well right here it will give it a super cool look as you can see looks super hard and now if you play it through we can see we have this really cool transition going on already so yeah if you want to check it out essential fx i'll link it in the description it comes with 40 plus fx like these complete drag and drop to spice up your music videos but if you are not ready to make the investment i'm also linked down some videos to teach you how to make like warps and like distort chroma type of transition in the description because i already covered it on on my channel so yeah you can check it out in the description or in the icard but yeah that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace